are. In this week's Prep Zone, Chris Egan features the Crusaders team that some believe could go down as one of the all-time greats in Washington history. The Eastside Catholic football team has won 18 straight games. They're ranked number one in the state and 11th in the country. Well, obviously we have a ton of talent that's been here all four years and combine that with the work ethic and the coaching staff and they, they teach us how to play good, high quality football. We have kind of built a culture here where regardless of what we're doing, whether it be the weight room, football field, classroom, um, we want to be competitive. Not only are the Crusaders the defending state champs, they've also flexed their muscles outside of Washington with big wins in California, Oregon and Arizona. And this is my last year of high school football and I'm, I'm laying it all out there. Like we have a bunch of guys that are just so hungry and they actually love this sport. Receiver G. Scott will play next year for Ohio State, while teammate Sam Adams is headed to Washington, and Aiden Hector has committed to Stanford. I mean, I think a lot of people just see the, the names and the, the stars in, on, on this team on paper, and, you know, there's a lot of talent on this team. But again, it all comes down to how good we want to be and how disciplined we stay. The players would rather not listen to the hype. That's nice going into one year, but we just let that go out the other. Yeah. We don't really like to hype ourselves up too much because that's when stuff starts to blow up our head and we start to get distracted from what our main goal is. Not only is this team loaded with 8 to 12 seniors that will play college football next year, but they also have a very talented junior class, which includes the number one recruit in the country. He's an animal. That's all I have to say about him. That's all that describes him in one word. Jalen Tuimoloau, or JT, is a six foot five, 270 pound defensive lineman. He's received offers from pretty much every college in the country, including Alabama, Ohio State, and Washington. Quarterbacks fear him, but his team loves him. My parents have always taught me to be humble, because you know, they always they always say, um, like, your work won't get noticed. You don't have to brag about it. You just go out there and work, and people will see that you're working. I don't have to post offers or anything. I have to talk about my game and everything. I just feel like every day I have something to get better at. So it's, you know, school, which is sports, everything, coming a better person. Which has also made him a better teammate on a very good team. In Sammamish, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.